Hi guys, and welcome to another video. And this video is going to be uh, an exterior patrol video with a bit of a twist. Um, so there's been a bit of a change up in sort of how we where we do the external patrols now, and there's uh, maybe some differences that you haven't seen before. Uh, but in this video as well, is my dog. Um, goes away from the trainer and I just want to talk a little bit about that and I'll just talk through the video so what I'll do is I'll let you watch this video first so that you can have some of your own ideas and then when you come back I will watch the video with you and just point out a few things that maybe you've missed or just explain a few things that maybe what happened <sighs> Right, coop, 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 easy, 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 fucking hell, oh you cunt, oh. Shit, don't hell up, I know you're out there, show yourself. Good on handler. If you're injured or need assistance, let me know. No, we'll get you some. Good on handler. Dog finds you stand still. Won't be harmed. Good on handler. Last chance for I'll send the dog. Send in the dog. Find him. Where is he? Find him. Where is he? Keep going in the wrong direction here, mate, but I'm going to let you sort this out yourself. Where is he? Where is he? Keep find him. Where is he? Find him. Where is he? What are you finding here? He's not over here. Shoot on, hand up! I know you're out there. Show yourself. Where is he, Coop? Find him. He's fucking sank in that fucking, in them trees. Find him, Coop. Where is he? He's not over here either. I'm not sure where you're going. Let's go and find him now. Keep this way. Alright. Right, keep this way. Alright. Shoot on hand up! I know you're out there, show yourself! Do not hand up, dog finds you stand still, won't be harmed. Fucking hell, I don't want to fall over it. 
Where is he? Go find him. Where is he? Where is he? Stand still! Stand still! Where's he gone? Oh, wait. Easy. Shoot on Handler! Come out, show yourself! Dog's seen you, he knows you're in there. Go watch him. Show yourself. Whoa, fucking hell. Good boy, Coop, well done. He's fucking, he was fucking adamant there was something over there. There's, there was something, there was something crashing around in there, whether it was like a squirrel or a rabbit or... But he was fucking adamant there was something over there. He fucking... Maybe. Good boy. No, it's all right, this. It's like the perfect little, uh, perfect little um, place for this sort of work, isn't it? Well, for this training. Well, yeah. Oh, geez, a bit chilly when I come yeah, fuck it all. Oh. Through that little gap in the yeah. in the sand bit when he, yeah, bit yeah, when he went to take me through it, I was like, oh fuck. Yeah, when we go, when we go, go down the. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. If you now, if you now go. go Go back down towards there. Yeah. Just past the grizzly bits. Yeah. There. And then I'll shell. Yeah. Then go. Right. Keep. Hip. Keep. Ah, 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 ah. on handler! Shoot on handler! Dog's coming! Find him! Find him! Dog, dog fight you stand still! Find him, Coop. Where is he? Where are you going, Coop? Oh, you found him? Good lad! Yeah, no problem. Yeah? No problem. Good boy, well done. Good, that's, and it shows how strong Will he was, because yeah. I've come all the way through, right yeah. over this side. Happy with that? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. Okay, so I've got the video here with me. So if we play, as you can see, we are just coming through sort of a grass section. Um, and this is quite muddy and it's been quite wet so as you come up you see me not too happy about having to go through the middle of this but obviously we do obviously trying to keep him under control so he doesn't pull me because it's going to be quite slippery and then you see here there's a couple of targets for the airsoft so you see how coop's taken a little bit of interest in them because obviously they're figures of of people um and then once we start getting out to here, this is where obviously I start doing my my um, I start doing my calls. This is where the, the trainer is going to be in this kind of area. But I know that he's I know that he's over to our left in in and around them little buildings. I know he's over there. But obviously the dog doesn't. Um, so what? So although the dog is now taking me off piece. Although he's taking me the wrong direction, I'm allowing him to do that because I think it's important that when you're doing this is that if the dog tells you that something's somewhere or if you're out doing a patrol and the dog's taking you somewhere, maybe it's worth investigating, especially here because we have had, there, there has been trouble with uh, people breaking in and although there is, although there is a train line there, the other side of that train line is where the people are getting in from, or that's where the people that are, are causing the damage, that's where they're from. So there's there's nothing, there's, there's nothing that tells me that they couldn't cross that train line and gain access into the premises from there. So if my dog says, hold on, there's something over here, we need to have a look at it, then I'm gonna let him investigate that. So again, I'm letting him do that because once we get into sort of this area here, I could actually hear whether it was an, an animal, whether it was a person, whatever it was, I could hear someone the other side of the fence. I could hear their footsteps. I could hear uh, twigs breaking. So I'm allowing the dog just to try and work out where where he is. So as we go through here, um, 
there's something I just as you heard me say there there's something in the trees um, I'm just allowing him to take me into an area just to make sure that there's no one outside of the fence I don't think there is someone outside of the fence but I'm just making sure that if the dog's telling me that there is a chance then I'm going to let him do that and you never know maybe the trainer double bluffed me saying he was going to be in the in one area and he's actually gone to another to see if I would trust my dog um, and as you get here you see look we get to the fence line and the dog's like he's the other side there somewhere and now he's sort of just trying to make his way through um, just trying to make his way through to another area to see if he can get round the round that fence part so obviously he's got to there and there's a fence so he's thinking oh hold on let me go a bit further down and see if the fence has let's see if the fence has stopped so that we can get round it I wasn't too best pleased about having to go through all here but like I say again part of our job is to investigate if the dog tells us that we need to go and investigate something part of our job is to listen to the dog and say okay if you think you know, if you're saying there's something over there then we'll go and have a look and as you see we come through here come to the fence again and you see the dog kind of realize the dog kind of realizes that the scent's run out but the only way in which he can get to it is to, to obviously go through that fence and he's right. he kind of comes back so <laughs> After the, after the dog's taken me through a couple of them areas and I realised that whatever it is he's, tr he's trying to get to is the other side of the fence, I say to him, OK, right, let's leave that alone. Whatever it is, you, we can't get to it. Let's go in this direction and see if we can see. And then I start shouting my challenges to see if we can get to where the trainer is. And then I let the dog take me in. So now the dog's locked onto my trainer's scent. Again, I want it to be... Exactly, I don't want to fall over it. Um, Where is he? Duke, find him. And then we come Where? through. You see the dog is locked on now. The dog Where? knows that he's Stand around this area. Stand still. The dog oh, knows he's in this away. area. Easy. I've seen the trainer at this point and the dog knows. The dog knows he's behind them, that wood, but he's now seen him. And then it is over. So we've gone a long way around that. Because the dog has told me there's something over there, I've gone to go and investigate it. And in the end, we've ended up coming back to get to where the trainer is. And again, things on patrol, we found him once I took the dog away from that area and said, right, we need to go in this direction. The dog's pulled me all the way into where the trainer is. And then after this, uh, the trainer just said to me, right, we're going to do one, just let the dog off the lead. Do one off, do one off lead, just send him in and see if he'll come and find me. And again, click him off, send him in. Just shout the challenge, dog finds you stand still, see what happens. Um, the, the, again, the dog is gone, so now I'm just sort of waiting to hear a bark or waiting to, to see what happens, waiting to catch up with them to see what's going on. Um, as I'm walking through here, I, I'm not 100% sure where the trainer is. So I'm just waiting to see. You saw a glimpse of the trainer over there. He's having a bit of a tug with the dog. Where are you going, Duke? Oh, you found him. And I'll give him a bit of a call. And then obviously they've had a bit of a tug and a bit of a wrestle. And then when I get to him, Terry says, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Now, um, now this is not something that you're really going to train. That was just a bit of fun, a little bit extra. Um, obviously, my trainer knows my dog and my trainer understands or trusts that we can let Coop off to go and find him and when he gets there he's not going to go for an initial bite the dog will come in and have a bit of a tug etc so that's just a little bit of fun nothing too uh, nothing too much but like i say the main things with that was like trusting your dog if the dog tells you that he's got a scent of something or there's something going on go and check that out even if you're at training or even if you know that someone's in a certain area if your dog tells you hold on there's something over here Go and check it out. Might be something, might be nothing. You learn when the dog kept going up to the fence line and looking the other side, that was to me saying, right, wherever it is we can't get to, right, let's go back and go this way. Now we're going to go in the direction where I know someone is, find him, dog goes in, finds him, does it, gets the uh, gets reward, patrol over. So I hope there was something in there that maybe uh, that was of interest to you, maybe something that you learned. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for loads more videos. And as for now, I'll see you again next time. Cheers for watching. See you later.